Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Game, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the connection failed in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So what we want to do on our PlayStation 5 is to go back to the home screen just like this, go up the top, go to settings, and then go on down to network. Then select this, go down to settings, and go to set up internet connection. Go to your currently connected internet, and what you could try doing is to forget it and then reconnect. So if you are connected via wired LAN cable or with the Wi-Fi, we can just go to forget, then go to OK, and then we have to reconnect to it. So press options and then go to scan for networks. So I can see the wired LAN down here under networks found, as well as my Wi-Fi connections. And I'm just going to go to this and reconnect to it. Sometimes this is all you need to do to fix and resolve some of your Internet issues is to reconnect. Now, if this continues, press options, then go to advanced settings and go on down to the DNS settings and go to manual. And let's go to the primary DNS and type in 8.8.8.8. .8 press R2, go to the next one, secondary. Type in 8.8.4.4, R2 and done. Go to MTU, go to manual and type in 1473. And then press R2 and go to OK and then reconnect to your network. Now, another thing you gotta be aware about is the signal strength. So you can see Miss Beast, Mr. Beast, Scump, etc. I'm literally right next to my router, so everything should be good. But there may be one connection that is a little bit better than the other ones. So you can try connecting to that and test the download speed. So you can see some of these under network found. I have one bar, I think that's like my neighbor or something like that. But press options and go to the Wi-Fi frequency band. Maybe connecting to a five gigahertz connection is going to be better than every other connection. So you can see Miss Beast right here. That one is five gigahertz. Mr. Beast is not. This is 2.4 gigahertz. So that's going to be a little bit slower, but the range might be a little bit further. So even though it's slower, it's going to be a further range. And then you get these other ones down there. But we can connect to 2.4 or automatic. Or if you're on the PS5 Pro, it's going to be six gigahertz too. So just look at those as an option and then we can go back to the game and then just close it down and then restart it. Now there is an error sometimes just like for fetching data and it's just gonna keep doing that. Uh, when you have the game open up and you put it into the rest mode. So sometimes now I just completely turn off my PS5 or I restart it or I close the game before I even go to it and then I don't get that error. So just go ahead and try that. Hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six gaming.